Hi guys. So, I have had this product for a while now and I've been dying to film it. Um, so I've just been kind of holding on to it. I bought a couple other things too and I already used um, them, so I'll talk about them a little bit. Yeah, let's talk about, now granted it's nine o'clock at night, I'm not drinking coffee, but this was the mug that I was drinking my coffee out of today. And it was courtesy of my little cousin, um, who <laughs> got this for me for my birthday. This is just, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a cow cup with udders on it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love this mug. It's my favorite. So uh, thank you, small 708. She knows who she is. And so yeah, I guess without further ado, let's jump in to this video. All right, so I will talk about two of the products that I've already tried, um, and I will definitely be using them in a tutorial because they're bomb. Let me just tell you, they worked really good. Don't mind. Nine o'clock at night, you would think that my kids would be in bed. Nope, my husband's out there. They're riled up, so you're going to hear a lot of stomping and everything else. So just bear with me and tune it out like I do, okay? Um, so this one item that I have, it's um, by Maybelline. And I actually saw another YouTuber use this and she swears by it. So I picked it up and I understand why because it is just amazing. So it's the Colossal Big Shot Tinted Primer. Um, it's great. You put this on first and then you go ahead with mascara. Now you could, I'm assuming you could use any mascara. Um, it probably works best with the Colossal Big Shot Mascara, which I also purchased amazing this is amazing so this here the tinted primer it does have fibers in it but they don't they don't fall all over your face and flake and this both of these the uh, primer and the mascara were awesome all day they held up beautifully i actually wore these yesterday both of these together and they held up beautifully they didn't flake all over my face i don't like to have you know the the smudging and stuff like that or up here and all that stuff so this worked really well the wand is really nice I really really enjoy it um, and so yeah so I mean I was right out the gate all about this um, and then even the the um, colossal big shot mascara I mean this wand is fantastic as well I mean look at that bad boy and it just it's nice like I said they're they're I really enjoy both of these products all right now on to the moment you've all been waiting for because i've been waiting for it we i'm opening the box i'm so excited i didn't even show you guys what it is <laughs> um it is the maybelline tattoo studio waterproof brow gel um and it says it, it lasts up to two days so this is what it looks like right here and let's bust open this box now i already busted open the box just to see what it looked like but i haven't used it i've been waiting so you get um, this little spoolie that comes with it. Uh, you can use, obviously you can use your own spoolie, but I think it's kind of cool that they, they give you one. Um, so that's awesome. And then this is what the package looks like right here. So I thought that this was a little strange um, that they have like this, this plastic tube and then this, I don't know, I just thought it was strange. But it does come with a brush, this little teeny brush right here. Um, and I got the color deep brown. I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. That took forever to find. Um, so I got deep brown because I do have really dark eyebrows. You can't tell right now. Actually, I'm gonna tell you what, my eyebrows look pretty fantastic right now. It's the best they looked in forever. I'm trying to grow them out a little bit, so I got some little baby hairs under here. Um, I'm just trying to make them a little thicker. Tomorrow I have to take my, <laughs> my daughter to preschool. And if this turns out bad, for the next day or so, I'm gonna be walking around with some jacked eyebrows. Let's read the instructions, shall we? They, they show you what you're supposed to do and then obviously you guys can't read the words, so I'm going to read them to you. So it says, short, smooth strokes starting mid-brow, then fill and blend from the start of brow. My children, I can't have a moment's peace. Good night. <laughs> what? I love you. Love you. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Okay. All right, starting, what did I say? Short, smooth strokes, starting mid-brow, then fill and blend from the start. Um, 
it does it says get brows for days new waterproof brow gel lasts up to two days ultra resistant formula adheres to brows for a no hassle wear does not transfer does not smudge waterproof so um i already went ahead and i used my micellar water and i just kind of washed my face real quick um made sure i get the got the brows really good and i didn't put on any moisturizer or anything because i don't want any oils on my skin um so that this will hopefully do what it's supposed to do. All right, let's go in. And I'm going to grab my mirror and I'm gonna put it right here so I can get in real close so I can see. So I'm a little scared. Let me just get up a little closer here so you guys can see my natural brow. I look crazy right now. It does not tell me anywhere how long to leave this on. <laughs> I feel like Groucho Marx. <laughs> Let's do the other brow. <laughs> so now I am going to take the spoolie that they gave me and I am going to figure out how to get it out of the plastic, first of all. All right, and I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go over this one first, obviously, because it's the one that I did first and it's been sitting a little longer. So I'm gonna go over that. I'll wait for this one to dry a little bit and then I'll go ahead and um, and go through that one. And so I'm videoing this on my phone. So whenever I get any notifications, they still come on even though I'm, I'm filming. So I just told my son that he was able to have a, an Instagram account. Um, He's really into WWE. He likes, you know, looking at all the, the superstars and stuff like that. And so I obviously added myself on his Instagram account. So as I'm about to go and do the spooling through here, I see that I have a message from him from Instagram. It says, hi, mom. I can't even deal. Can't deal with him. So the brows are combed through. I look insane. A little tacky on both sides nothing's transferring though no. i mean nothing's coming off when i touch them so I do have something else that i just bought um that i'll chat with you guys about for a minute i also used this the other day and i really enjoy it i love the color um and i'm gonna get the um the matte liquid lip it's the maybelline vivid hot lacquer yeah i'm obsessed with maybelline i think maybelline has come out with some really awesome awesome products. I have quite a bit of it too. I mean, I use a lot of it on a daily basis. So, I mean, I just think their products are great. And I really like this, um, this doe foot because it's like super pointy, you know, it, it just, it's very precise when you go to put it on. And this, um, this color is 64 unreal and it's just a, such an awesome nude. It, it's, it's perfect. It goes with anything. Um, it's just for me, this is the perfect nude. Um, the one thing I will say is that when you first apply this, um, it is a little sticky. It's not sticky to the point where with some lip glosses, when you like literally it feels like your lips are stuck together. It's not that type of a texture. It is a little, I don't even wanna say sticky, I'll say tacky. It's more on the tacky side. Once it dries, um, and it, like I said, it's not a matte, it's, it's a lip gloss, but it does dry down a bit, right? but you still have some sheen there. That tacky feeling is completely gone. So, the, sorry, like hair is just flying at me. I love a matte lip. I'm, I'm really not a gloss girl, but this this stuff is great. It was comfortable to wear um, and it stayed put pretty well. Um, I mean, I was eating, drinking, and it stayed it stayed put pretty well. I just joined a, um, a little makeup group on uh, Facebook and uh, it's called The Powder Room. So I'd like to shout out to all the ladies in that group. Um, I can post my, my YouTube videos there and uh, I'm excited about it. I'm hoping that the ladies in the powder room are enjoying my material. <laughs> uh, I let them know that I was going to do this tonight. Um, I didn't tell them what the product was. I wanted them to be surprised. So let's hope they're enjoying this. <laughs> I hope this turns out good. I'm so scared, guys. I'm so scared. I am going to... Um, go upstairs <laughs> with my crazy eyebrows. And um, as soon as they're dry and I have a little bit more information on what I'm supposed to do, um, I will come back and we will finish filming and we'll see how these bad boys look. 
All right, guys. So I looked up the all the direction. You have to let it sit. The suggestion is to let it sit for a full two hours, but I ain't got that kind of time. So you can let it sit for up to 20 minutes. And then after it's completely dry, you go ahead and you peel it off. So that's what I thought. But you know, when it doesn't say on the box and that's just what you think, you don't wanna go ahead and do that because what if you horribly either hurt yourself, rip out all your brow hairs, you know, like you wanna make sure you got the full directions which do not come on this box. I am going to go upstairs and uh, get a drink and um, let these dry for a little bit and then I will come back down in my filming room, AKA the spare bedroom <laughs> in my house and, um, and we'll go ahead and we'll peel these off and we'll see how they look. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. All right guys, so I'm back. Um, I don't even know how long it's been. I went upstairs and I had a yogurt and um, set up stuff for tomorrow morning, get my coffee pot ready because that's a necessity. Um, I fixed my hair because it was really looking kind of crazy there for a minute. Um, put on some comfy pants because the jeans just weren't cutting it for me anymore. And um, watched a little Lifetime while I was up there. Uh, put some wood in the stove. So it's been probably about a half hour. The micellar water will take it off. I mean, you got to work a little bit, but it does take it off. So I just, you know, cleaned them up a little bit and then I kind of plucked where there wasn't any of the, um, the brow gel. And um, yeah, so I am going to peel these off. Um, yeah, let's see what happens here. So I'm going to peel. Um, it's not peeling guys. Guys, I can't peel this off. Huh. Feel a little tacky. Guys, it's not peeling off. Like I'll show you. Like I should be able to pick it up off the corner here and it should peel and it's not. I'm getting this on my fingers. Um, and I don't know what that means. Maybe really let it sit the full two hours. Um, I mean, my brows were still a little tacky but at the same time, you know, it said the, the least you could let it sit is for 20 minutes. Um, and it was sitting for more than 20 minutes. So, um, I, I don't know. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to wash it off and I'm going to give it another try. Um, maybe tomorrow, um, and, and see if maybe, um, I let it sit for a little bit longer if it uh, does what it's supposed to do. I mean, they look pretty rough. So I think that's what the plan is gonna be. I think um, because it didn't peel right off, uh, maybe I didn't let it dry enough. So tonight was a bust, but I'm not ready to give up on this product yet because I've seen it used and I know that it works. So like I said, maybe I didn't let it sit long enough. So I think it's something that I might have done, which is cool. I mean, it's trial and error, you know, when you're trying out a new product for the first time. So I'm not, um, I mean, yeah, I'm bummed, definitely bummed, but um, I'm not, you know, gonna just give up on it and be like, oh, this is junk. I'm going to, like I said, go upstairs and I'm going to uh, wash these off and, um, and maybe try this when I have a little more time. Like I said, it said 20 minutes um, as the minimum. And then, you know, the longest, like I said, the recommended is two hours. Well, this girl ain't got time to be sitting up there for two hours. I got to get up in the morning. I'm babysitting tomorrow. My, my girl's got school tomorrow. Like, I don't got time for all that. I got to get up early. So tonight was a... But, again, like I said, we can give it another shot. So, yeah, so that's... That's that for tonight. So, uh, I'll keep playing with that. I hope you enjoyed our little chatting while we did this. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed me, please hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss hanging out with me. Alrighty. So until the next one.